a great way to add texture and depth and interesting elements to your email designs in Klaviyo is to add a fun background like this. So if you ever wondered like, how do I add in like an image behind my text or how can I just get more, I don't know, creative with some of my designs and really add a bit of a pop to it instead of just, you know, you know, like a, a just a plain kind of like colored background. We're going to run through that. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So in this example, I have one of my clients um, all pedal, make sure to check them out. But this specific um, release had some kind of designs associated with uh, the launch. So this guitar pedal um, had a kind of great design on the back that they had the full asset of. And I was like, I'd love to play with that in the email and have it kind of live as an extra textured piece. Okay, so here's how you're gonna do this. You are going to drop in a section. So what is a section in Klaviyo? If you've never dropped one in before, you're basically breaking the sections of your email out into its own grouping, its own section. So with their section, you can control very specific things like giving it its own background color or maybe you wanna add a border to it, or you just wanna like change the sizing, especially stacking on mobile. Maybe you wanna control this one to stack one way and another section to stack the other way. But this is how you're going to control your background element. Okay, so we're in Canva and we're here with a, uh, let me double check the size. What is the size of this? Do, do, do. We're in 1920 by 1080, okay. Larger than this, depending on what you end up importing, the image and everything, sometimes the file size is too big. I found that this size works pretty well um, and it can like grow um, without distorting because if you use too small of an image, it will look really blurry. If someone's viewing it on their tablet versus their mobile phone, you gotta take into account these things. So start with a relatively large uh, pixel size. So this one's 1920 by 1080. So we'll start with that. So what you can do is kind of a fun hack in Canva is go over to elements and look for textures. So you see here, I, I started looking for some textures. I even filtered by color. Um, we could even do black to kind of match more with our vibe here. These are great ones actually that kind of have like a highlight happening in the middle because usually even with the shrinking and growing of your image in the background, that highlight piece will always be centered. So it looks pretty nice. Um, this fits the branding actually really well, kind of that grungy look. Um, let's see if it clears up. So sometimes file sizes or like images in Canva aren't gonna be 100% crisp. And that's not crisp enough for me. I need it to be crisp, crisp. So you know what? Let's go with this. So we kind of got this grunge look going on. So let's download this one. Okay, so we're back in Klaviyo over here on the image side or the background. We're going to select image in our section and I'm going to drag in our design. Now, at a first glance, you're probably like, okay, but it's like tiny. Why isn't it like fully expanding? You have to add elements in to kind of get that full expanded or actually using it as a background. So what we're going to do is just kind of pretend like this was our background piece. So. You know what, is this one? Okay, no, the background's not transparent. Okay, let's go ahead and just pull in our text then. So we'll pull this in and we'll pull this in and we'll pull in a fun review into the section we want. Okay, so as you can see, I'm adding pieces in. Maybe we could drop in an image. Let me see if I have a transparent PNG. All right, this one doesn't exactly match the branding but it gets the idea there. You can drop a transparent image over it and it has this great texture in the background. And as you can see, as I'm increasing the sizing of the image, the background is adjusting, it's shaping, it's trying to fit with the changes I'm making in the actual section block. Um, so this is great for that. Um, if you wanna hack here, um, as you can see, like we have almost like a tear happening, you can add that into your block as well. And that can, um, help kind of like transition the pieces better too. Um, so that's an option. And that itself is its own image that is like placed over it. So because my background is usually kind of like crispy, crisp black, um, it will transition really, really well there, but it still keeps my background element. And that also shapes and changes. Um, so that's great for that. Actually, let's maybe, let's pull it over and throw it in up here. 
So here we have, you see I put my, my tear in there so the transition looks really uh, clean. But we have our background here expanding. It, I mean, it's like added into the, it adds such a depth to it that is missing sometimes in emails. And adding these textured backgrounds is just like, mwah, it really adds something. So if I go to mobile, you can see that it also changes that way. So it is growing, expanding. It's looking different depending on the view, which is huge. You don't want it just like not adapting to that person's device. So one other cool extra tip I wanted to go over is let's say, let's get a different type of background. So let's say like one of your textures is like this and maybe it's a bit too busy to have text on top of. So let's bring this one over into Klaviyo and we'll add an extra element to a text block to make sure things still stand out. So I'm back over here in our block. Let's go ahead and swap this out with our new background here. Okay, actually it works still pretty well, but let's say we really want this to be kind of, it's the text here to really stand out on its own. So what you could do is actually come over, um, right now everything is its own piece, but we can, we can adjust that. But you can come over into your text block here and set its own background color. So let's say we wanna make it black like this. We'll make this one black as well, and this one. Okay, now back over into your section, we're gonna add some padding. And what we just did is basically, shoo, we moved our text blocks, text blocks in, and when we did that, the background color itself is also changing and adapting to that one. So let's say we want it even um, tighter. Let's do maybe 35 or so. Okay, that works. And then like with this one, maybe we want more um, padding on the bottom. So maybe we do like a 45 or something. Um, and maybe some more padding here. Maybe we'll even it out with 45 as well. Okay, but there you go. You now have your texture block in the background, but you have your text block in its own piece here. Yeah, so just another way here, but you gotta be careful because you see my, my tear here is also expanding. So when you use text blocks like this, elements like this are also gonna have padding. So keep that in mind. I hope this video was helpful on adding some more dimension to your email, some more interesting sections, adding in these background textures can really elevate your email design without sacrificing having actual text blocks, which are huge for deliverability. Watch my spam placement video if you have any questions on that. But this is just a great way to add some interesting depth to your emails. So hopefully this is really helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.